Hey second graders, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on how we can add two two-digit add-ins together to find a sum. I said a lot of vocabulary words there, so we're just going to go over them really quick. The first word that you heard me say was digit. When we think about a digit, we think about what is the number in the, in the place value. So when we look in the ones, the digit is nine. When we look in the tens, the digit is three. And we when we look in the hundreds, the digit is one. Because I'm looking for what is the number. The digit is just what is the number. The next word we're gonna talk about is the value. When I think about the value, I'm thinking about how much is it worth in that place value. So two tens has the value of 20. So it's what the place value is worth. The next word we're gonna talk about is add end. An add end is a number being added to another number. So when you heard me say two digit add ends, we're gonna be working with two digits numbers, which are called add ends. When we are looking for equal, we're looking for what is the same on both sides of the equation. So we can think about our equal sign and our equals means the same. We're gonna think about the word sum. A sum is the answer to an addition equation. So when we think about the sum, this is what we're talking about. You can see in this example, there are two add-ends that equal a sum. We will be writing equations. When we have equations, we have the um, add-ends, or we can be, that's if we're adding. And so we can have those, and then we have the sum. But you can see there's an operation in the middle with the equal sign. And that's what makes an equation. And the final thing that we're going to be talking about, friends, is regrouping. So when we regroup, we're really going to be thinking about, do we have the correct thinking around our work? So are we able to show models? Are we able to show pictures? And really think through the different ways that we can add. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of how you can add. The first one we're going to talk about is a picture. So when we draw a picture, we are going to be using base 10 blocks. Now I'm going to go over how you can use base 10 blocks to show your work. And we're going to think about how can you accurately use a base 10 block. We know base 10 blocks are uh, materials and tools that we can use. There are 10 ones and one 10. So when we think about tens, we're going to be drawing them as a line to represent the base 10 block. When we draw a one, you can draw a circle, and that's going to represent the ones that we use when we have the tools. Now, what you're going to see is we are going to be thinking through how can we solve. So when I solve using a picture, let's say I have 26 plus 12, and I want to solve. Each of those are add-ins. And then what I can do is I'm going to draw a base 10 picture. So in this base 10 picture, I have my 10s and I have my 1s. And I'm going to be thinking about how can I add my add-ins. So what I like to do is I like to keep it organized so I can always go back and check my work. I can think through, I have two 10s and 26, because I see a 2 in the, as a digit in the 10s place. And I have six ones here. So I'm going to draw six ones. Three, four, five, six. What you can also do, friends, is you can draw in groups of five. That helps you organize and think through like a tens frame. When I think about my second add end, I think there's one ten. So I have one ten. And I have two ones in the ones place. So I'm going to draw two ones. So my first step, friends, is to build my numbers. And I'm using base 10 blocks as my strategy. So right now, I have two add-ins with base 10 blocks. Now I'm going to count and find my total. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have eight ones. The reason why I'm drawing dots underneath them is so you can see what I'm pointing at, but you don't have to draw the dots when you're doing your work. And then I can count my 10. So I have one, two, three tens. So I, my sum 
is 38. I can check my work and I can double check, do I have two tens and six ones for 26? And do I have one 10 and two ones for my second add end? But you're probably thinking, Mishi, you said that there's a couple of different strategies. What I'm going to show you is a model. When I think through a model, I'm thinking through what can I represent? So. When I look at 26, I am thinking about two tens and the value of two tens is 20. So watch how I do this. 26 is equal to 20 plus six. What I'm doing is I'm breaking apart the add end into its expanded form. Then I'm going to do the same thing for 12. Let me color code a little bit. So I know 12, I see one 10. So one 10 is 10 plus two in the ones place, which is two. So now I can solve and I can add these together. Notice friends that I wrote a plus sign as my operation and then I drew a line underneath. That line is the same thing as my equal sign up above right here. It's the same thing. So now I have six plus two in my ones place that equals eight plus 20 plus 10, which is three tens. So three tens is equal to 30. And 30 plus eight, because my ones are changing, I can think zero plus eight in my ones is eight. And then I have three tens, but they are not adding any extra. So I have 38 as my add end. That is a way that you can model and show addition of two digit numbers. You're going to notice, friends, we did not need to regroup in this problem. The reason we did not need to regroup is because I had enough ones and I didn't have too many. When you regroup, you're going to need more than 10 ones in your ones place. So I'm gonna show you an example of what that looks like. When I have the equation 37 plus 28, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna show you two strategies today. There are other strategies that you can use. These are just two that we're just gonna start with. So I can draw my base 10 blocks. So I have my tens and my ones. So I'm going to draw three tens and seven ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I have two tens and eight ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna just show you a different color because I want you to see why I'm regrouping. In my tens place, I'm gonna be counting and I see five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, when I get to 10 ones, I know that 10 ones is the same thing as one ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to regroup. Now, when I regroup, it means I'm making a group of 10. So what I want to do is I want to draw a circle around the 10 ones, and I'm going to show my regrouping that goes to the tens place by drawing an arrow. Then what I'm going to draw is my new 10. Now you can see that there's, oops, there's one, two, three, four, five ones left. And now I can add one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So my sum is 65. Now remember, that's the picture strategy. So what I'm gonna show you now is the model strategy. Remember, this is just one of the models that you can use. You could also use a number line if you, that's your strategy, or you could build up your numbers in different ways. I'm choosing to show you expanded form as a strategy because that's one that makes sense to me for right now. It's one I'm trying out and it lets me use what I already know about place value to teach. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to expand my number into its place values. So I know that 37 is equal to, I'm looking in the tens place, three tens is the same thing as 30, plus seven ones is the same thing as seven. Then I have 28, so 28, there are two tens, 
So 2 tenths is the same thing as 20 plus 8 in the ones. And I'm going to add those together. Now watch what happens, friends. When I add these together, 7 plus 8, if you know your math facts, then you can use that. You can use the doubles minus 1. You could think doubles plus 1. Use the strategies that you know. If you need to draw out 7 plus 8, you can. I know, for example, I can just draw it on the side. So I have 7 ones and 8 ones and 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 1, 10, and 5 ones. That means 7 plus 8 is 15. So I have 15 ones plus 30 plus 20, which I know is 3 tens plus 2 tens equals 50, 5 tens. So now I can add together my numbers, my add-ins, and think what is 50 plus 15? If I look at my ones place, I know 0 plus 5 in the ones place is 5, and 5 plus 1 in the tens place is 6. So my add-end is 65 which is the same thing that I got when I used my picture strategy. So friends, I want you to think, we learned two strategies today. We learned base 10 blocks as our picture, and we learned expanded form as our model. Which one of these strategies are you able to use with a little bit of practice on your own independently? And which one of these strategies are you still working on learning? Which ones are you still thinking about how can I use this? But when you compare your strategies, that's how you can really show that you understand the work and you can teach somebody. So keep thinking about how are you being successful with your math, and then we're going to be learning some more strategies as well. See you next time.